All right, guys, what's going on? Can y'all hear me? I think so. Can y'all see my hands? I think so. If that's the case, then we should be good to crack on. So, I was going to carry on building this, then I realised, oh shit, I'm actually supposed to be streaming this. So, we're on to part, this is technically part four, but in terms of the boxes that I'm using, is like the, the bags that I'm using, it's actually part three. Just hand parts, Zynox. You bit of a hand man for the same thing. <clears throat> How you doing, buddy? Mate, I had a go at Hungary earlier on. I don't know if you saw the Discord, but man, I am so slow around the Hungara ring. It's all Sector 2. It's literally the chicane. I do not understand how you take how you tackle that chicane. So I'm gonna be super slow on Saturday. But it's fine. It is what it is. I'm just gonna, yeah. So the the situation with the webcam is very very cracked because basically I'm just it's connect it's 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 perched on top of my mic, which is also too loud. So let me turn that down real quick. Um, it's perched on top of my mic, so it's literally like it could fall off at any second, and it's kind of like at an angle. But the angle kind of works because it means you get to see a lot, a lot of what's going on. Um. Is what it is, I guess. There's no, there's no um, looking about it. Straight. What? Well, as in, like, you can't straight line it because there's the curbs there. You can't go over the curbs. I don't understand it. It's a dumb racetrack, and I cannot wait for Saturday to be over. Phil, I'm doing really good. Thank you very much for asking. I'm looking forward to uh, to getting this going again because I've kind of neglected it recently. So yeah, I'm going through pack three right now. Michael Clark says hi. Michael Clark, welcome to the stream, my guy. Thank you for stopping in today. Right, I'm going to pour this one into here. So each bag will have its own box. That's just the smartest way I can think to do this. Is what I've been doing so far. Except for like these, like for example, these ones, they're too small to have their own box. So I put them together. There's a lot of stuff in here, but I want to I want to not have to do a part five and six. I want to have a part four and a part five. I want to finish this box today, basically. I know there's a lot of stuff in here. But I haven't got any plans for tonight anyway, so... It's either this or do more F1 practice, and F1 practice makes me depressed because I'm so slow. So, instead, I'm going to build some Legos. <laughs> That'll make me happy. Michael Clark, your name seems familiar, but I don't know where from. Let me know. I've seen you somewhere. I know I have. I think. If I have, let me know. If I haven't, let me know, because I'm confused now. Confused myself. Definitely a screen. It's a screen. those into there. These are still, still the spare bits from the other packs. You don't know depression until you get fully into eye racing. I'm getting there, don't worry. I haven't fully started it yet, but I'm really not looking forward to it. Like, at all. Why did I just do that? What was I thinking? What was my logic behind putting that in there? I've already lost my train of thought, because that's a small bag. It. What's the worst that could happen? I'm not even going to bother with oval. I'm going to go through the, the rookie road first. Get the NX5. Okay, that's not going to be. That's too big for one box. I've made a, a bit of a mess of myself here. Hold on. All right, the big pieces time being find their own home elsewhere what I don't want to do is lose anything yeah the Mazda I tried literally I've tried the Mazda at Lime Rock and it just feels so weird it doesn't feel like a car compared to obviously I'm comparing it to like F2 
which does not feel like it should be a thing. It feels horrible. Why am I dropping everything I own? You go in there. Have I dropped the notes? Brilliant stuff. Where's my extra box? Find the big ones in here. Okay, on the basis that I don't think I've dropped anything. I think it'll be okay to start. I've got enough space, I think. Be as smooth as possible and stay in the same gear. Yeah, I noticed that upshifting mid corner just doesn't work. The one thing that bothers me, I don't think I've, I still don't think I've got the settings right. Um, like the auto clutch, I think it is. Because every time I change gear, the revs just go off the charts. I'm not used to, to adjusting to that. So that's something I need to get used to. I just haven't put the hours in for it yet, really. Completely my own fault. I just haven't put the time in. Right. Where do I need to be? Pretty much here, right? There's the seats. Right, pack three. Here we go. And we're actually starting with what I believe is the tailgate. Um, so yeah, if anyone who was here last time, this is literally just a chance to chill and chat, basically. I don't get anything out to anything super aggressive. Okay, I need a grey. It's like that, but grey. Okay. Is it in the big boy box? No, is it in the smaller boy box? In here, maybe. Okay, so literally the first piece I can't find. <laughs> Great start. I thought I was being good by organising this. See, it's like that, but not like that. It's bigger. And I feel like it was bigger than I could to find it. It's not in there either. Let me, let me organise myself first, actually, shall we? I get organized first. Hey, Joey, what's good, man? What is good, brother? Have I dropped any more, maybe? Okay, no, I haven't. So, it's got to be around here somewhere. Couldn't imagine waiting to build a set like you have here. I'd probably need to do it all in one last like, stream. Yeah, this is the thing. I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to do it all at once. And the fact that there's so many pieces, I don't think I'd be able to do it in one day. There's a lot of stuff here. And I already... Okay, it's there. It's that one. Okay, finally. Oh, why is my YouTube audio library breaking on me? Second. Come on. Got that out. Getting more confident in Minecraft now? Yeah, I noticed, Joey. I noticed you were starting to get a little bit more um, free-flowing. I'm going to check out your build next time you stream as well. I haven't like, stick, stuck around enough to see it like fully develop. I've kind of seen it in drips and grabs. Right, what am I looking for? One of these buddies. This is the thing when you start a new pack, you don't know where anything is. So it always takes like an hour just to find something. Got there, got there. Yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to pace myself. I'm trying not to just do it all at once. But at the same time, this is the problem I have. I spend the majority of the time just trying to look for the things. Like, where is this one piece? Already, I'm lo I'm missing a piece, but I'm not missing it. I just can't find anything. Right, the sleeves are coming up. To be fair, you've already spent eight hours building it. Exactly. And that's eight hours on stream. I did like an hour before I started the streams as well. So. And I'm my first redstone build I want to learn. Okay, Joey, what else is it going to be? I need to take this hoodie off. Already I'm getting too hot. Stay with me, guys. I know this is a bad start. But I need to get myself sorted. Ryan. 
uh, auto farm. You're gonna have to narrow it down. What auto farm do you mean, Joey? Because <laughs> pretty much everything is an auto farm. Modern redstone classes. Well, here's the thing, right? And I, I, I told Elsie at uh, Lightning Khan at some point, if she wanted to learn redstone, I would literally do a mini redstone series and where I teach her basics. Like, I think that would be quite funny. And I also promised Joey that when he started building, I would help him get some redstone stuff in place. Because let's be honest, it's the one thing I can actually do. Alright, I am so confused already. Right, I haven't checked this box yet. Not in there. How am I missing a piece this badly already? Like, am I just blind? Like the one I can... You're not narrowing it down. Which one? As in, like, a crop farm with the water over it? Is that the one you mean? Okay, I'm seriously confused now. It's literally like that. It's literally that exact piece. But it's grey instead of black. According to this. There's loads of the black ones in here. I'm going to keep a black one on standby. This is It's exactly the same piece. In a different colour. That's so confusing. Why would they do that? Just why would they do that? If I can't find a grey one in the next 20 seconds... So I'm just going to carry on with a black one and pretend like nothing's, nothing's happened. Right, fuck it. What's the worst that could happen? I'm breaking the rules. I'm a bad boy. What are you going to do about it? So my head is like very close to the mic. I keep headbutting it. Like, am I missing a bag or something? That's what I feel like right now. I feel like I'm literally missing a bag. Because like, where's all these black... One by ones. Normally there's a billion of these every pack. I feel pretty confident right now that I'm actually missing a bag. Like that's the stage I'm at right now. Because surely not. You want to auto crop. Yeah, okay, so a crop farm. Right, okay. That I can do. That's really, really easy. That's just that's a very basic one. I can definitely show you how to do that. No, but I'm I'm convinced. Like you know that you know what I mean, right? These ones, ones that's like, it's two circular bits on either like one circular bit on either end, and like there's like a billion of them, and I haven't got any of them in this pack. And that's why there was another pack three on my bed. And there's the piece I needed. Right there. I hate my life. Prepare in advance, kids. Prepare in advance. Right, we are quarter of an hour in. And I'm about to get onto page two. Bailey said, oh, found it. Found what, Will? Welcome, Will, but found what? Duncan, oh, right, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm waving my head today, aren't I? Grab your chill stream, you got zombies info on the Treyarch Twitter. I just moved cam, I did move the cam. I keep hitting my head on it, that's why. That's... Good enough, though, right? If anything, better. Zombies info on Twitter. Is 
Zombies info where, Bailey? Can you send it in the mutineers chat? I haven't already. Oh, you have already. Okay, cool. Project N Station was only the beginning. Ooh, okay. Let me bring this up on screen. More soon. Okay. Interesting stuff, guys. Interesting stuff. Look at that cheeky Interesting, okay. I'm like, I'm not going to dig too deep into that just yet. Why can't them sit where I want it to? Right, okay. Let's actually knuckle down and actually do some stuff now. find anything I want. Also, yeah, Bailey, how you doing? Will, how you doing? Good to see you both. I need two of these. I have no idea what this is at the moment. Hey, OF Gaming, welcome. Good to see you. How are you all doing today? Like I said, I, I've been planning on carrying on with this for quite a while, and I just never got around to it. That was wrong as well. I think a bit of Rust at the moment. Warzone is broken. Yes. I really want to get into Rust. I've seen so many good things about it, and I just never got around to like checking it out. Is it any good? Is it like is it worth trying, Will? Is it is it worth doing? Because it looks hella fun, but I feel like you need to have like a good group of people to do it with. Not really a solo game. And yeah, Warzone is just unplayable. It's actually ridiculous. Glad you agree. That's why I'm doing something like this, rather than playing Warzone. I need four of the basically spaces, like washers. We're gonna be in a small van. Not that one. Is there stickers? Yes, there are stickers. They're in a box down by there. They will come into play more a little bit later on, I imagine. And I get hidden away because I hate doing stickers in Lego. It's the worst thing about Lego. Probably just because my hands aren't steady enough. That's probably on me. It was on sale yesterday, but it's hard. You need a big group. Very many people there. <laughs> Fake shops. Yeah, I I've seen the pranks that people can do with that. We like lock people in shops and then just find inventive ways to kill them. But yeah, like I said, like you said, I think you need a proper group to be able to play it properly. But I don't really have a big enough group to play Rush with. Hey boy, how you doing, man? I see those eyes. How are you doing, Chrissy? Hope you and Michelle are doing well. I have no idea what this component is that I'm building right now. Literally zero idea. Web, the cam needs to be further down, doesn't it? it? Needs to be like plugging down here. 
This is where I'm building things. Good. Yeah, I'm glad to hear. And I'm doing okay. Had a good day in work today. Made a couple of good sales. Wanted a couple of new clients. Still quite quiet compared to what we expect. But that's just because of the time of the year. Oh, this is the rear bumper. Yay. Let's see now. The rear bumper. Yeah, okay, I've not been too bad. Glad to be back in the flow of things now. Now that Christmas is over. Nice to, um, Chill out. Get back into the flow of things. Okay, so putting this onto here. Where are we looking? Camera in focus. I suppose it is. Yeah. Bit of dirty but looks I think. This orientation. Thanks to these. That, so that's our rear bumper and then so we need to clip in oh jesus christ how small are people's hands supposed to be to get that you can't even i can't even show you what i'm looking at right here that in there so i go through there eh, jesus christ hey mr knife shark welcome how you doing, Paul? Get that back over there. Okay, now we're making two of the like, end plates. Thing. Two. This one's kind of tight. Like in this. I'll use this one real quick. Okay, new piece alert. Not one I've seen before. goes off. Thing is, this just slides on to here. Oh. 
that doesn't seem right to me. What's that just detecting? Nothing. Now that comes out at a really weird angle. I'll roll with it for the time being, but that doesn't seem right. Look at the exact same thing on the other side first. I know my back always hurts when I do these streams. I'm constantly leaning forward. Horrible. But I'll suffer through it. Just in case anyone is actually here and wants to watch. Doesn't look like face. coming on now. Oh, 
do for me. Yeah, right. Stickers are on. Yeah, to be straight. Happy days. Hey, we just hit 10 likes though. GG's to us. Thank you very much for hitting that 10 likes. I need a bigger desk for this, really. Not enough space on my desk for this. Everything's getting too big. In card. You and LC. You recovered from uh, from yesterday's war zone yet? Uh, did you have internship today? My memory is terrible. I can't remember if you said you went to internship today or if it was the day after or, or what. I don't really know. I just cannot get a camera angle that I like. I want it to be like further over here and then like. I mean, like that. Hey, no, just stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay. Okay. Not recovering from the zombies. Oh, the zombies, yeah. Yeah, the zombies are bad for you. I still don't know why. I can't work out why. John says, sick camera, bro. John, shouldn't you be working? Rather than coming in here and slandering. Where the f is that going? I go behind there. You had an off day on Warzone. Yeah, I had an off day on Warzone, you had an off day on zombies. That is that is a fair assumption. That is a fair assumption to make. Last day today. Oh yes, you did say last day. Nice headset by the I mean you wanna keep hitting my head on the camera on. Yeah I know. The only reason I bought it, John, is because you had it and it sounded good. <laughs> I bought exactly the same one. So you're you're responsible for that. It's all on you. Like, yes, it's not bad. The mic quality, I, I find the mic quality appalling. I don't use it at all. But the headset itself is fantastic. Yeah, that's why I use an actual mic. I've got a, a Logit uh, Elgato Wave 3 now. Because I'm fancy and shit. Been really busy today with that project. How about I contact the professor? Project was due Monday and we compromised my situation. That's good. Like I said, they, I'm sure they would go in, they would have to give you some sort of extenuating circumstances. I'm glad they've done that. That's a nice thing. I'm looking for a longer grey bar now. There it is. Sorry, the corner of my eye. I hit my head on it again. It's just too close to my face. That's my problem. To get a good enough angle, it's got to be close enough to where, like, I am. And I just keep hitting my head on it. Not ideal. How's work going, John? It has been a while since we've had a, a proper chat, so. How's work been? I 
Has he? I mean, I suppose it probably is a good time to be doing the things that you do at the moment because like the roads are quite. Uh, you just, there's just not much traffic. Probably is quite a good thing to be doing what you're doing now. The other projects I'm allowed to turn in during the second chance handed period. I'm, oh, okay, that's quite nice. Again, so yeah, they've been quite supportive of you, which is a good thing. Like they're catering to your needs quite well. You've been super busy and you picked up an extra job. Why would you? I mean, to be fair, money. I oh, can't blame you. But, uh,. Fair enough, I guess. I'm not going to complain. I've been super lucky. That my work situation's been good enough. That I don't need to think about another job. Although I want to change jobs. Because I'm not enjoying what I do very much. At the moment. When you say bartending job. Like. Are bars open over there? I didn't think they'd be open. Like, given the whole, you know, global pandemic thing that's kind of going on right now. I think America would be shut down, right? To be fair, I suppose that would be the clever thing to do, so. I would a restaurant again? Though, shouldn't a restaurant be, like, in a similar situation? AKA, like, closed? I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just saying. Doesn't really add up to me. Can't see past 10. I mean, I suppose that's fair, at least they're doing something about it. But like, still, come on. America. To be fair, the UK has just been, been just as bad. I haven't got anywhere. Because I'm not a fucking idiot. Like the general population is. I'm talking about you British people. You're all morons. Right. We've been having a rough time, but it's entirely our fault. Because like I said, the British public are fucking morons. No one, like, has taken it seriously. And then they're trying to blame, oh, the British government. For, for ruining our Christmas and ruining this year, basically, is what it's going to be. But no, don't blame the government. Blame yourself for partying and ignoring all logical understanding of what a virus is. And just completely under-appreciating how serious it is. So, I've not, basically, you know, I've walked my dog a few times. Well, I say a few times, basically, like, other than that, I just haven't left the house since March. Like, I'm just doing the logical thing. Like, why expose myself? Not expose my family to this virus. And there's absolutely no need to. Because you don't have... Why is it breaking all the time? Fuck it. You don't have it still in the Capitol building yet. Yeah, to be fair, what's going on over there at the moment is absolutely mad. It is crazy. Which reminds me, John, I'm a shoot. I, I'm not gonna make any judgments just yet, but like, who did you vote for? Or should we action? I could have a pretty good guess. But like, who did you vote for? Is, there's worse to come. Oh, I can completely understand there's going to be worse to come. Around the 20th and 21st. People blame the government for going drinking party. Exactly. They can blame the government all they want. The general public are fucking morons. That's upside down. 
It distracted me on my rant. Yeah, there's going to be some serious shenanigans. Around the 20th and 21st. It's those dates in the, that period. Hey, we're making the first of the... Um, Pork bullets of it. We'll get we're getting some of like the roof framed. Biden and Trump are horrendous candidates. Yeah, that is true. I think Biden's the lesser of two evils. But yeah, neither of them are, are exactly good candidates for presidency. So, yeah, Joe Jorgensen was probably not a bad shout. I'm glad that you actually, like, pay attention to politics. Because it's so important. And it's like people over here and say, oh, I don't pay attention to politics. I'm not interested in politics. Like, how can you not be interested in politics? I can understand to an extent if I don't want to get too involved in it, sure, but like, at least have a fucking understanding of what's going on in the world. Um, the one that gets me is when people say, like, especially with what's going on in the US now, people say, oh, why should I care what's happening in America? Like, it's not going to affect me. America, like, the fuck is... But like, America, you can't deny that the US is one of the biggest superpowers in the world. What happens in the U in, in America matters everywhere. It doesn't matter where you are. That shit's going to make a difference to your life. So, just read a fucking book every once in a while. Read the news. Watch the news. Understand what's going on in... People think ignorance is bliss and then they get pissed off when things Mini rant over. I'm a registered Republican because I refer to have a say in a primary that matters. But that's like I said. Yeah, I think I think you you definitely uh, well read on the topic, which I respect, and everyone should be. That's like me. I tend to vote Labour just because I want to make a difference when it comes to elections but my beliefs are always Plaid Cymru so well no to be fair it's more the other way around um, I usually vote Plaid Cymru because I want the Welsh independence I want the Welsh liberty that sort of thing um, in terms of my beliefs compared to the larger establishments I vote Labour just because conservatives are different breeds Fit on Our politics are complicated. I don't know, John, you're starting to sound like a Trump supporter there. No, you're not, you're not wrong. No, you, you're not wrong. Let's be honest. I'll see, are you saying your politics are complicated? How, how bad can they be, really, compared to America, right? Feel free to enlighten me. Let's have a political debate break. Most Americans see their system as so. Yeah. Again, sort of nail on the head. Most most government is corrupt, let's be honest. Let's be fair here. Yeah, that's the same pretty much everywhere though I'll see. Well maybe not in America. I don't know how it works in America, but over here it's pretty much the same. Whereby there's a main Like there's the main two 
following three really, which are the Labour, the Conservatives and the Liberal Democrats. And there's like a thousand independent parties as well. So it kind of extends beyond just what you what the mainstream is. Says, uh, America had the early adopter issue with being the first modern democratic republic to inspire most of the ones around the world, but naturally answers the most problems. Yeah, that is true. It's very primitive in nature that what your system is based on is incredibly primitive. There are going to be problems that just haven't been fixed throughout the years. Oh, stop. These songs are good and they just stop midway through. I don't understand why. Again. Stop it. That's going to mount to. Yeah. On this side. Up here. I need to remember that you actually like can't see what I'm doing when I do it down here. There does need to be further down. Like there. I don't have a greatest anger positive, it's always over the same party. Oh, okay, John's just giving you a rundown. Oh, this is actually a door frame. I completely misjudged what I was building here. But it totally makes sense. I want like the rear door frame bit. It's actually the front door frame bit. There's only is this a two door? Yeah, there's only a two door build, I just realized. So that's that. It's the first door the, the front door frame on the passenger side. I'm assuming we'll go into the driver's side now. Not just yet. Given us a full on politics lesson here, which I'm okay with. Crack on, everyone should have done this stuff. So, so important. And then find like that. Pass it right down the bottom. This awkward one. Well, they don't make it as easy, do they? I mean, no, that's kind of a quaint. More floor. I did an American culture and history during my first year. I'd like that, to be fair. We, I never really had that as an option. Study American politics or anything like that. Or anything. But I would have liked that. I had to learn it off my own back, basically.
It makes me realize every time I push down, I look down, my head's in frame. John is going all out. No. Okay, this could be the roof bit actually. Yeah, that makes sense actually. This will be the roof, I can imagine. Slides. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Elsie, um, that sugarcane farm that I built on stream of the day that you guys helped me with, I AFK'd it for like three hours and I filled like 10 double chests of uh, sugar. So I think I'm set for sugar for life now. Lucy's a sub Lego boy. I mean, that's not the worst thing you've called me. I'll take it. How are you doing, Lucy? your day been definitely not the worst thing you've called me those are the same class of British culture oh uh, yeah I wouldn't be interested in British culture British culture is not interesting like understanding the monarchies kind of okay after that yeah it's just Celtic history is much better than, than English history. Like the Roman and Celtic history is actually really cool. Looking for a flat three long piece. That was work today, Lucy. Been busy again. You're still making like 90 calls a day. Can you explain to me again what the difference is between you and Mitch? Like what 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 is different about your roles? I know you work for the same like company. But, like you do different things, right? We like it. There's an uh, arc with the Welsh vegetarian celebration plot. What is this? Um, Finland Saga. Oh, yes, I I've read Finland. And not Finland? No, I don't. I don't think I have actually. Finland Saga. It rings a bell. But um, I don't know. Oh, right, Ayla. It's manga? Okay, I definitely haven't read it. I, I've heard of it somewhere, though. It rings a bell. Uh, Lucy said, I've made 20 calls today, and my calls are welfare calls to confirm case. It's called to Lucy in contact with someone. Okay, so... Right, so you're like checking up on people who've got it, and Mitch is finding out, like telling people who've got it. I guess that kind of makes sense. 
The Mitch has fewer calls, but they're longer. You have more of them that are shorter. Is that how that works? Right, that's the rear view mirror. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna go. It's a great race orientation, right? It goes on the other end for a start, so I think go there. There. On the other side, so like we're getting the outline of our sort of roof section there. Maze Runner is really good. Definitely recommend Maze Runner. Yeah, the book's really good. I definitely recommend it. I have a new... Owen Rocker is uh, based at the Houston Race Direction. Owen Rocker, I'm assuming that's OF Gaming, based on the, uh, the picture. Or maybe I have dropped another one. You haven't dropped anything. Not in here, definitely. I hit my head on it again, didn't I? Oh, there it is. Pond friends, I've got to get ready for work. Have a good one. I'll be on Thursday. Yeah, I, sh I should be around Thursday, John. I'll let you know if anything changes before then, but I think I'm good for Thursday. Oh, and his Nate Dog. Yes. Yeah, I've I realised that now. He's also OF Gaming on YouTube. I'll speak to you then, John. I don't know, quarter about seven. That's eleven AM my time. Eleven AM, that's not like five PM my time, yeah. That works for me. Good for me. I'll just finish work. Yes, I did see the new zombie teaser I'll see. It came out on Twitter, came out on Twitter, didn't it? I've, um, I've had a look at it. It's interesting. Obviously, can't draw much from it at the moment. Um, definitely interesting. Looking forward to seeing what 
comes with that. It looks quite small, whatever that is. That, that's a map. It does look quite small, doesn't it? We'll just have to wait and see, though. Yeah, exactly. That was not the actual map size. Yeah, same. It's gotta be bigger, right? There's gotta be more to it than that. It can't be that lazy. I'll just say, here's like a quarter of a map. Physically can't be that. Like, Dime Machine is not a big map. That's just ridiculous. I'm optimistic, though. I mean, I'm, I'm interested to see what they... Uh, shut up, Bradley. <laughs> shut up. Yeah, I'm interested to see what they do with it. See if my laptop can handle cold balls or miss this free. Yeah, it's a good shed actually. Good shed, because why not? Might make things easier, like you could do it on the go then. It's worth a try. What's the worst that could happen? I gotta mount this. This side's got more mounting points. One, two, three. That and the roof should connect up. Well, hey, something is well off there. This bit. Something is well off. Not again. That's more like it. We have a flat roof now. Like it's not connected to anything at the front. That's what crashes and loses everything. I mean, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. The worst thing, worst case scenario, you install it, you get like five frames a second and you uninstall it. That's literally your worst case scenario. Right there. And to be fair, if a PlayStation 4 can handle it, I imagine any laptop <laughs> can too. Like, if it'll do BO3 zombies, it'll do that, surely. Because Cold War's actually a relatively low resource game. Like, my computer will do Warzone like 100. 120 FPS and it'll do Cold War com comfortably at 144 
kalau pilak pas Like under here. Why does the camera just feel like it's out of focus all the time? Like no matter where it is, it just looks out of focus. Maybe it's the light? No. Looks shit. Probably a little bit better. I do want a new webcam. That's why my face cam upgrade. <laughs> oh, three two nine. By the way, I didn't even notice that. Got away from three thirty. That's pretty dope, right there. What off three thirty? Hey, what's next? Like the front pillar now for the door? Maybe? I guess so. Bring us back to projects we don't want to. Okay, back to your project and just keep this on in the background. That way in about 10 minutes when you get distracted again, come right back. That's probably some really bad advice. Yeah, you should probably crack on with that project. Get it done now while you know you've got some free time. Otherwise I'll get to like a couple of days time and you think, oh, I'll do this now, and then someone will say, oh, I'm going to play zombies, or I'm going to play Paul's Zone, and you think, oh, why not? And then all of a sudden, it's like three weeks ago, and everything was due, and you just not had time to do it. Do it now while you've got some free time. Get it out of the way. I'll get as much, i not necessarily finish it now, but just get it. It's due tomorrow. Well, then, do, do. Close stream. Do. Make the thing. Okay, you know if Bradley's saying it, then it's true. Bradley's generally quite good at his discipline when it comes to things like that. Welcome back, Phil, once again. Good to see you popping in and out. Welcome back, Phil. Where have you been, Phil? What have you been up to? Stay 
writing in the chat for once. I mean, you don't have to, Phil. You've got things to do, by all means, carry on, but it's nice to see you. Nice to see all of you. Go in there. I just like these streams because it means I get to chat to you guys. I'm not folk I'm not too heavily focused on everything else. Like a game. I get to sit and talk to you all. I think he's gonna crack on to it. What should I like there? Yeah, no worries, I'll see. Good luck. Good luck to you. Like, oh, Bailey's streaming as well. I didn't even know Bailey was streaming. What is he streaming? What is Bailey up to right now? No idea. I'm assuming he's doing more, um, more of the uh, IW Zombies. That'd be my guess. Oh, he's doing Space Land again. I played Space Land the other day. Could he not beat it on stream? This is like attempt two. A keyboard, yeah, it's a Logitech. Um, I can't remember the, the, the exact model, but it's a Logitech keyboard. And it's really, really nice. Blue switch, which you can't hear because of the mic. Good. Yeah, blue switch keyboard. Really, really nice piece of kit. The song kind of sounds kind of Middle Eastern, doesn't it? It's a weird combination of Western and, and Eastern. He's fixing frame. Oh, again? Is he still having issues with his Elgato? That man's had so many problems. I think on my income and availability, I may go and pitch myself a set and who to build. There, there are some really cool ones that are like really cheap as well. There's some quite nice ones around at the moment. Uh, hey! Honestly, this, this sort of stream has its advantages, but it has its drawbacks as well. As soon as I start this, I get very tired. Well, like I am I am ready to crash. Listen to this music, it's nice and relaxing. What I'm gonna do is take my mic up a bit, and then I can turn myself down a bit. I'm gonna shout so much. I can relax a little bit more. And yeah, I always get really tired when I do these streams. So I'm going to keep myself awake. But be a bit more relaxed as well. It's a shame, I know he's been um, having issues for a long time with his Elgato. I would have thought by now we'd just get a new one. He's had so many problems with it. So where's this going? On the back end, there's a rear pillar. There's the middle pole. And to there. 
Not the fiddly one again. Like that. We need another one of those now. Oh, this is well, the tailgate. Okay, cool. We're on to the tailgate. This is like our first body panel going in. That's pretty dope.
Yeah, you can move it on. Little uh, boot and door mechanism. Hot minute, didn't I? How you been? Let's uh, let's get this bit in here, forming the boot. That was funky. Did that happen? Uh, yeah, what, what? That was that was something funky, and then it disappeared. It's been quite a lot of time being around for my uh, for now. No worries, Dan. Good to see you're uh, still around, though. Just hope everything is okay with you. Two of the green alpha suits. Alpha care, man. How you doing, Alpha? I need to remember I put Tim on mic up now, so I haven't got a shout at all. I can relax. I can even sit back if I wanted to. Not that I can reach and hear what I do. But you could hear when I yawn because I turn the mic up even more. How you doing, Alpha? Just trying to get the. I think it's the boot going in place. I'm doing good, Alpha. Thank you for asking. It's been a bit of a quiet one this week. Work's going okay, but it's a little bit slow. I find myself waiting around a lot, but not much to happen. I used to love building Lego sets. I haven't done one in a few years. Once I get myself to display a shelf to display my pop figures, I'll build the ones I have and put them in there too. See, I, I don't understand personally the massive hype behind these pop. I can't remember what they, what, what they called officially. Like pops, I can't remember what they're called. Like they're collectibles, aren't they? Like Tang has got a billion of them, apparently. Like they're pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. I've never been much of a collector. Not really my kind of thing. Just having their. I mean, this kind of sits on display and you don't really do anything with it. But obviously each to their own. I've always been a fan of Legos, though. Always been a fan of Legos. Because you can never be too old. And Lego. 
Not vinyl, that's the sort, that's what I mean, yeah. It wasn't the word I was going for, I can't remember what tag calls them. But that, that sort of thing, the weird bobblehead kind of people. Not actually bobbleheads, but they're like, that sort of shape. You guys know what I mean. You're buying a shelf this month. You're buying your shelf a shelf. Sorry, I had to. Can you blame me? Do you know what I would love to be doing right now? Is to be on like Twitch where they don't care about copyrights and just like putting on actual songs and singing along to them. Rather than just these generic songs, they don't have any lyrics. I'm having a good old sing along right now. The YouTube won't let me. Grab my drink. There we go, Bradley got the joke. Book fell on my head, I can only blame myself. What a classic. I really don't know why I like them that so much. Something about makes them something about them that makes me like collecting them. I think that's this you can say the same about anyone who collects anything though, I can't you right? It's not just one thing, it's just the idea of it. I got no complaints about it. I'm not I'm not a judgmental person, I'm not I'm not judging you for it. I think it's interesting more than anything else. Interesting what other people find interesting. I like the psychology behind these sort of things. This boot hinge mechanism is looking quite complicated. But what is it? Listening to lyrics we've heard in the first hour and a half. I definitely wouldn't call them lyrics. It's ooing.
Click spot on. Gonna hang out for a little longer before I head off to tackle my two lives for today. No worries, Dylan. Thank you for stopping in and saying hello. Like I said, there's not much going on here. I'm doing this because I'd be doing it otherwise. I thought I'd stream it. Some people like watching it. And exactly as you said, you can come and chill for a second. Kick your mind off whatever it is you're doing. And then get on with your day. I like that. I like the fact that there's not much going on here. Relaxed. Some of these pieces are just so ridiculously small. Even age to find them. A weird looking piece. Gotta love a good bowl of Reese's pasta breakfast at almost noon. Uh, to be fair, I'm quite good when it comes to breakfast. Like, I'm working from home at the moment, obviously, so my, like, routine is I have a meeting every morning at, like, quarter to nine. I'll go on for about 20 minutes to half an hour. And then, as soon as that finishes, I'll have breakfast, like, as and when I'm starting work. Which is quite nice because it means I, I, it's like it's like a routine then. Does this need to attach onto here now? And I'm not quite sure how. Like that. I think that just sits there for the time being. It not actually go anywhere. Let's be mindful of that. i get two more of these washers. This is one thing I find annoying as well, it's forgetting, like, all, it's for all the same pieces are in the same boxes, basically, so everything is together. And it's where, you know where they are, but you can't remember which box they're in. That always annoys me.
So I need to remember to keep that in frame. We've got some sort of mechanism here. Probably to open the door. The latch. Which is pretty cool. Right onto there. And then we need this bit, so we're gonna fasten that end. That's pretty cool. This is gonna hold the stair wheel, maybe. It looks like it is. My best guess, anyway. Alka with the lurking eyes. Alka. I still can't decide whose side I'm on yet. Regarding who came up with this whole eye thing, whether it was you or LZ. But you both seem to want to claim it. Okay, so this is the boot latch mechanism now in place. I can I mount this to here? Civil War, it literally is. I'm just gonna stand in the middle of no man's land on this one. I ain't getting involved. Let's just go in. Let's just sit. In. Jesus Christ, that was a fiddly one. Okay, is it making on the car yet? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, 
got some making points. Yes, that fat plate for now. I need to put that bar in, hold it in place. The like that. Now we have a door. The boot. Boot. It's not really much of a boot space, but it's a boot nonetheless. That's pretty cool. You would 1v1 for it, but I'm not. <laughs> you can, is that you conceding to LC then? I think you concede. It sounds like a, bro a, bro a broken man there, Okay. Sound like a broken man. Okay, what is this? Is this the top of the... Of course, it's the side panel, okay? You sound like a broken man. Indeed, broken I am. <laughs> I think everyone is a bit broken after this year we've had. No one's got the energy to fight. Except for the Americans, apparently. We won't go there again. Not digging that hole again. Oh, I've got to put stickers on again. There are more stickers coming now, apparently. Exactly, Alka, there's always the Americans. Well, we had John up in here earlier. Talking about American politics, and he got deep. Alright, sticker number... Must be fourteen, there it is. And always count on the Americans to get aggressive. Then it's nowhere near straight. But it's close oh, it's just not too bad. No sticker on. Kind of straight. It'll do. Not ideal. I'm not changing it now. The song sounds kind of transient, doesn't it? I feel like I should be floating off into heaven right now. Worst thing about being here is the time difference of everyone. Why is it 5am? Yeah, I suppose weekend streams are more to your time, aren't they? Because these, yeah, not ideal for you. Like, why are you awake right now? Are you, like, on Japan time or something? Wouldn't that be even worse? Maybe you're on Japan time now. 
and that's why it's 5 a.m. Is that the case, Alka? Is that why it's so bad? You're in Japan now, right? Yes, yeah, so that's why it's so bad. Yeah, so why are you awake? That's what I want to know. Hey, awesome players. Welcome to the stream, my man. Good to see you. Getting the good vibes? Feeling the good vibes today? I'm glad. If I want to talk to family or friends. They're not free until evening their time. So you have to be awake late. But is this is this late or is this early for you? Have you been awake all night or did you get up early? late so you've literally been awake all night jesus that is bad if i did i would stick around to watch more but i have a very busy day i'm going to continue my high school online work no worries awesome players good luck with your online work and thank you for stopping in doesn't matter how long you're here for just the fact that you stopped by to say hi means a lot to me Thank you very much for that. You haven't slept yet. When did you move? When did you go? When did you go back there? Was it? I'm assuming it was quite recently. All right. I'm assuming it was fairly recent. A week ago. Oh, okay. Do you have any, like, family out there? Or is it purely just, like, the friends that you've met through the course? It's the wrong piece. Usually on streamers that I like watching. Like you, I don't stick around. And then I watch the stream after. So oh, okay. Fair play. Well, um... Yeah, as per usual, this will be going up as a VOD. So um, feel free to watch it back. And if you're watching this as a VOD, welcome. Feel free to leave a comment. Let me know that you've got this far. And that you're listening. You're listening along in the future. You're definitely listening to past me right now. I had friends who came with me to study here, but they all went back for COVID. Ah, oh, okay. You got like fr you got friends there, but not really family. They're not coming back at all. Interesting. By the way, I've watched all your other streams after they were done, so that you know I am here in the future. <laughs> ah, well, good to hear, it, awesome players. That's pretty cool of you. That is pretty cool of you, Awesome Blaze. Thank you very much. So aren't you there for school, Alka? What are they doing for school if they're not coming back? Covid hit pretty hard. Yeah, Covid hit pretty hard everywhere is the thing. I imagine in... I imagine it's more so in some places than others. Yeah, it can't be easy for anyone right now. These songs are getting really transient, don't they? All these, like, pipes. I'm also starting to get upset because my PlayStation 3 is not working. 
And by the way, I don't have to do my online work right now because I'm done, but I want to catch up. Nonetheless, no, I, 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 I give you credit for that. Sounds like you're a hard worker. Fair play to you. I'll continue back home. Fair enough. I suppose you'll meet more people out there, though. But at least you're not alone. It could be worse, Alka. Could be worse. There you go. Hope you have a good rest of your day. No worries, awesome players. Um, thank you very much for stopping by. And if you are watching the stream a little bit later on as a VOD, then welcome. <laughs> welcome back. I'm gonna leave a timestamp. Like this is the point. What's the time? One fifty-three fifty. It's when you come back to watch the rest of this stream. This is the time you need to come back to. There you go. You got you got your own timestamp now, awesome players. This on mount on this side. Just this corner. And then just like that. Onto there. There we go. So we're getting quite an established shape there as well now. Pretty nice. I'm assuming this is the top one. Oh, this is a wheel arch. Come back here. I'm supposed to pick when you're done. Oh, definitely. I'll, put, I'll check it in my Discord. I'm hoping I can finish part... This is technically part four, but it's box three. Or, like, bag three. I'm hoping I can finish bag three tonight. And then bag four I'll do at some point, hopefully in the week. This, this, that'll be the last bag, then. But, yeah, I'm hoping to get it done this week. And as soon as it is done, I will post a picture on my Discord. It's taken me a long time. We're getting this... We're approaching... 10 hours. We are, yeah, about three minutes away from 10 hours. Obviously, I've not been rushing this. But it's been a big build, so it's taken a while. There's a lot going on here. Especially when it came to the diffs and the engine. All of this, all of these diffs in here, and on the front we had the engine, front suspension system, the gearbox, there's a lot going on there. So yes, it's taking a long time, but I'm not rushing it. This reminds me, reminds you of what, Alka?
What is up, my brother? You went to enter the competition. Are you telling a story in parts here? We have a task with building a car. That has to move along a certain track. You are telling a story in parts. I like this. Continue. Nightbot, don't ruin it. Don't ruin the story time. You have to do it using only a few electronic parts. Okay. I like where this is going. Sounds like a challenge. Like resistors and stuff, yeah, okay. Okay. It's like like a high school project and that's pretty dope. That's pretty cool. We don't really have much like that. Oh, you were against uni students. Oh, fair play. How did it go? Okay, really short on time. We had a lunch break and everyone went to have lunch. Did you carry on? Did you sneak behind and carry on on your own? Except. Except. wasn't allowed. I was not allowed, it was just suggested. Okay, so you just carried on. Because, like... Fair enough. Me being stubborn. To be fair, I'm the exact same person. That's the sort of stuff I would do. I get lunch, I want to build stuff. Lunch is overrated. Used to go until I'm done. Did it work though? Did it work? And I'm assuming it did, but the story wouldn't be a very good one. It was the first one and only one of two that finished the project. Was one of the other ones one of the uni ones? Or was the other one one of the uni ones? Exactly what I said, wasn't it? Just on time. Nice work, brother. Did it work, though? You say you finished. Did it actually work? Third year uni student, Jesus Christ, okay. Fair play. You did better than you get to nice. Nice work, brother. 
But what exactly do you do in school? Is it something specific? Or is it just a general school? Alright, same thing on the other side now. Three grand. I don't know what that means in like pounds. So I'm assuming that's like dollars in your currency. But fair play. Congratulations. To beat a third year high third year uni dying. That is no easy feat. Oh, that's 3,000 US dollars. Oh, okay. So that's what, like... 2.4 2 grand or something? 2.5? That's a lot of money. Fair play. I'm going to keep saying fair play, because that's impressive. That is super cool. That is well nice. We never really had anything like that over here. It's sad because I would love to do those sort of things. Special school. Private by the government. Uh, okay. Trying to see what you mean. In a weird way. Anyways. Oof. Separate into majors. You were the engineering science major. Maths and physics, okay, cool. That's probably what I would have done as well. Actually sounds like my kind of thing. Didn't do any social studies. Interesting. As cool as that sounds, I don't know how I feel about it not doing social studies just because I feel like at that age in a high school I'd want to cover as much as possible just to keep my options open for as long as possible before then deciding a later date obviously depends on how you see it Like some people might want to go specialist straight away. That is perfectly understandable. I don't think I would want to do that in all honesty. Thing.
Oh, right, okay, so you started off just a little bit earlier. That's fine, then. You still got a lot of the social stuff in, but just earlier on. That's pretty interesting, then. That's still pretty cool, though. Fair play. Use the last year for more focus than you. Oh, okay, so this was just like your last year then. That makes sense. I like that though. I, like, that's that's a pretty cool way of doing it. Because it gives you a better idea then of what you want to do when you have to go to uni. I say have to go to uni, when you go to uni. Oh, really? In our sort of system, it's very heavily dependent on what you did at high school. And obviously how well you did at high school, but that's probably the same everywhere. Like the university I went to, I did A-levels in like maths, chemistry, physics and French. Um, and they basically just didn't care about the French. They only cared about maths, physics and chemistry. It's like I might as well just not bothered. I got a pretty substantial back end. As long as you graduate, it's alright. Okay. Oh god, stickers. Stickers time again. Uh, number three. Dinner, no worries, Joey. It's a bit late for dinner, isn't it? It's half past eight. You're not just a tad late for dinner. I hate putting stickers on so much. With a passion. Just put the stickers on in advance. Print them with the stickers. Oh, okay, you're supposed to be moving. No worries. Stickers are on. Uh, what movie did you watch, Joey? You obviously check your grades on important subjects, but it's alright most of the time. Okay, I, I, I kind of get where you're coming from then. Like I said, I, I'm not 100% sure how I'd feel about it, but it's a pretty decent system. Are you dying less now, you know, the combat? Yeah, so I really like the combat system in Minecraft. Um, it's It was very controversial when they changed it. But I've always liked it. I think it's much better now than what it used to be. Much, much better. Because it actually has, adds some skill to the combat system. 
And like it gives you an actual reason to use the axe rather than the sword. I just like it. I think it's a good idea. So you just jump spam. Yeah, exactly. It just takes some getting used to. But I think it's much better. Having the sweeping edge as well. That's an excellent, an extra level of skill. I don't know how I feel just yet about the new combat changes that they're planning on bringing in. They're not like 100% confirmed to be happening yet. There is like a, like a, a test phase. But I like the way it is now. I don't necessarily want it to change. Uh, it's different from the British system because we have four years in uni. The first one is like a foundation year. Okay, to be fair, Alka, I did exactly the same thing. I did a foundation year. I did like a, it, like literally like a, it, it was literally a foundation year of physics and math, basically. Just because my my greatest downfall when it comes to physics is I'm really good at the intrinsic stuff, like actual facts, but the maths behind it, I've never been. I've, I'm 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 don't get me wrong, I'm good at maths. It's never been my strongest subject, and. The theoretical side of it is not my strong suit. That's why I did a foundation year in physics and maths. It was for the mathematics side of it. Application of mathematics, we're saying. All right, next up is the roof. I'm going to move this out of the way for a little minute. Um, actually, no, let's put it by there. Find where it is. So yeah, I, I did a four-year uni course as well. that wasn't compulsory that was i i chose to do that okay roof piece is getting ready to go i was really smart in high school but <laughs> this this was the another one of the issues that i had was I was the kind of person in high school who was smart without needing to try to be smart. So I didn't have to revise in like high school, I didn't have to study. And that meant when I came to uni, I didn't know how to study. I didn't know how to revise properly. That put me at a bit of a disadvantage. And I knew that when I um, when I started uni, which is what, again another reason why I went for the foundation course. I didn't want to go straight for it and then just jump in and out of my head and then and, and not know what to do. You need to find a mine everywhere I try mine in a mine already. Yeah, that's the thing. There's quite a lot of people around now, Joey, so you're gonna need to find somewhere. Even if it means just flying off in a random direction and then going mining. Right, like I said, you have to do mandatory military service for a year as a high school. Really? I am so glad that, that wasn't a thing for us. Although I say that, but I, in another life, I would be an engineer in the Navy or the RAF. I would love to be an RAF, like, I would love to have been an RAF engineer. But it wasn't the case. Never happened. Yeah, I'm glad it wasn't mandatory to do any service. 
Yeah, that doesn't really make much sense because you, you're going to go back into education then. That's why I didn't want to do a gap year as well because you forget so much. When you're off, that it becomes a real struggle to get back into the flow when you come back. Use the gold farm. <laughs> I love the fact that that gold farm has just become like communal for everyone. But oh, don't get me wrong, I don't care. If you're using it for the XP, then by all means, crack on. But it's just become the thing in our area that everyone uses. Like, no one uses the end farm. Thankfully, though, I went and learned Japanese for a year and a half. And we go back and study. True. That is very true. Because languages are really good at, at sort of keeping your brain active. That's that is quite lucky. That's quite fortunate. Wrong place. I knew something didn't look right. She was his best. I mean, to be fair, the gold farm itself isn't my design. I'll keep saying that. It's a, it's a, an, it's a Nembon, I think it is. Um, so it's not my design. I'm not going to take credit for it. The bartering farm is mine. I can't take credit for the gold farm. It's an amazing design. This song is really nice. Well done. I'm going to mute myself for the next two minutes. That's a really nice song. I like that. Sometimes songs like that just put me in such a weird mood. I just love them. I just can't help but stop everything and listen to them. 
That's where we're. Oh, you built it though. Yeah, true. I mean, I put I put the effort in to actually make the thing. I just don't want people trying to credit me for something that isn't mine. You do get what I mean. Like I said, I really love my country. I do believe it's the best country ever, and not because of the, oh, it's my country or whatever. I really think it is. Like, we have everything provided to us by the government. Health insurance, housing, education, jobs, literally everything. For that, I'm forever grateful. So, I, for the most part, completely agree. I think Abu Dhabi, Dubai, that sort of region, the United Arab Emirates, is a fantastic place. And especially if... Like you say, the government is providing everything that you that you need. I say Wales is a, is is the best country in the world, more because of it's my country, um. But it's it's because it's a simple country. If you ignore the politics that England's kind of dragged us into, I'd call us quite a second world country. In that we generally, or we used to anyway, not so much anymore, but we used to um, be self sufficient. Um, yeah, we used to be self-sufficient. We don't really import much and to export more than we import. Um, which is a simple people. We don't need much. We've got nice enough cities. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted here. I don't have a country to. Um, yeah, we have the, the free healthcare. We have government-funded jobs. Our system is pretty similar to yours, just to a lesser extent, I think, because we're less reliant. I don't want to say reliant, actually. I don't think of the proper word I'm looking for, but we're just... We don't need it. We're quite simple people. But you don't really think of when you think the UK. But in general, yeah, Wales is relatively relaxed. And I'll pop blame Scotland. No, Joe, it's entirely England's fault. Don't try and rope the other Celts into this. I don't even think about trying to rope other Celtic nations into this. It's not on them, this is on the American. Uh, American? Jesus, I'm going down another round of apple here. About the English. All about the English. Don't try and pin this on anyone but yourselves. I'm not saying you, I'm saying your people, your ancestors. Before anyone takes me too seriously, I don't have an issue with English people. It's just funny. It's a rivalry at the end of the day. Yeah, okay, we're not going down the, the rabbit hole that is Americans again. Roof is taking shape now. You know what though? Do I know what though? Do I want to know what though? You get where I'm coming from though. The English thought is that we need to be united better than them. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of the divide over here. Rightly so, because fuck the English. <laughs> like I said, at the end of the day, it's more of a rivalry than anything else. Obviously, there's the issue about govern uh, jurisdictions, should we say? 
in that we wanted independence because we didn't like being governed by English law so much. The Welsh independence speak is, is a growing thing. It is becoming quite a big issue in Wales. And I don't think it'd be too long before there's a real push for independence like Scotland has done. England is too power hungry. They want to control everything. Fucked up Brexit. They're dragging us all down with them. Realize we're only four members off uh, 100 in the uh, in my Discord. Pretty cool. I nearly finished with the roof. Oh, it's actually got a pivoting roof by the looks of things, as in like detachable, openable, should we say. Pretty interesting. Maybe not. Maybe it's just this piece. Oh no, because this is going to be the bit that actually attaches. Yeah, this is the front of the car. So yes, yeah, there's going to be some sort of pivot here. Eventually. Um, that's why like the federal system, it gives each prefecture a lot of freedom. While still being a strong United country. Yeah, I think you've got, you've got it pretty sorted over there, to be honest. And you, it sounds like you've got a pretty sweet deal going on. I'm certainly jealous. Hey, done with that box. Down to four boxes now. Get you over there. Okay, can I ask why it is he's still awake? Other than the fact that you're like watching this and talking to me. Are you speaking to other people or is this generally the reason why you're awake and not sleeping right now? I'm assuming there's another reason. Oh no, oh no what? Oh no what? You're supposed to say hi and go to sleep. <laughs> so this is like, it's going to be like getting close to six for you now, right? Got a bit carried away. Oh, I can apologise for that. But I guess, again, this is why I like these sort of streams. It's nice and relaxed. You kind of forget the time. And it all disappears too quickly. And all of a sudden it's f ten to six in the morning for you. So yes. What time do you need to be doing things today, Arco? Do you have time to sleep now or are you just gonna power through?
I mean, it's kind of my fault, right? We, we, we have a small, I have a small part to play in this. In keeping you distracted for too long. I mean, yeah, it's mostly your fault, let's be honest. I think you'll be alright. Are you going to go to sleep now and then wake up, like, super late? Or are you just going to crack on throughout the day and then sleep early tonight? Tomorrow night, rather. I'm interested to see how this roof is actually going to attach to the body of the car now. And also what else is left in this pack to do. There's still quite a lot of pieces left. I'll sleep for a few hours. I need to get up early enough to sleep at night. Yeah, true. You don't want to sleep all through the day then. And then just destroy your sleeping pattern. But do you think it's a good idea to go now? Like, go to sleep? <laughs> What's the nicest way of telling you to leave my stream? Like, it's for your own good. Go. Rest. section here is getting really interesting. And this is still the back of the roof. I'm not sure where it's going to connect to now. You will. Good night. No worries, Alka. Thank you very much for being here. And I hope you get a, a, a decent sleep. And I'll speak to you soon. How's your build coming along, Joey? How's it looking now? the same at the moment, don't know if you want to do three floors or not. Oh, so you've gotten two at the moment, is it? I haven't seen it in a while, so I don't actually know what sort of stage you're at. It's very big. I mean, it can't, to be fair, you can say it's big. It's not going to be as big as my sphere, is it? So, can't go too overboard. the front. I was convinced that was going to be the front end. Apparently not. There's only one you started making your animal farm. Oh, okay. Right, so where's this mounting? It doesn't actually, but this bit does 
open up for some reason. Not quite sure why yet. But it is definitely taking shape now, right? Like if you saw that, you could tell that this is a car now. How much is left of this pack? Do the doors go on in this pack? Jeez, yes, they do. How far does this go? I may have taken this too far. Doors go in. Front bumper goes in. Okay, it's to here. So it's another 35 or so pages. I think we can crack this out tonight. Next map, I have a plan, but I want to put it across our little group. Okay. I'm interested. gonna be a bit finicky. Do I get this piece in here and then keep that all the way down on both sides? When you say map, what do you mean by map, Joey? Oh, do you mean like when the server resets? I'm assuming that's what you mean. Like when we start again, which will be in about six months time, probably. Roughly speaking. Six to eight months-ish. Okay, what's your plan? Can you tell me now, or have you got to wait and... Connecting to anything, is it? No, that can't be right. That can't be right, surely. It's got to be a longer one. That would make more sense. Castle. Interesting, okay. You continue. Well, like as a group group effort, do you mean? Like a, a one like we share one? Is that where you're going with that? Like a kingdom type castle. So like one big wall surrounding all of our bases sort of thing. Kind of interesting. Definitely interesting. Something to consider for sure. As long as I can still do all my farms and shit. That'd be quite a cool little uh, project, I think. Definitely one for the reset. Not one for, uh, for now. No, I'm not, I'm, I won't do a seer this time, Brad. I have, I, have, I have a good idea for my next industrial district. There won't be a seer this time. Gonna be bigger than last time though, let's just put it that way. Gonna be bigger than the current one is. It's gonna be a big boy. Um where's this mountain go? 
doesn't actually amount to anything just yet. It's just on the end, on the. Uh... Yeah. I don't want to give too much away just yet. I'm not a hundred percent sure about it. But just remember the fact that in 117, the world height goes from 256 to 512. So there's a lot more room for tall builds. If you can get where I'm going with this. I wonder, now that we're getting an increased world height, do you think they'll increase the strength of Feather Falling? Do you think they'll buff Feather Falling? That would be pretty cool. They'll probably become quite overpowered if they did. Um, industrial skyscraper, Clyde Factory, you're on the right lines, definitely. On the right lines. I've got a couple of ideas, basically. One of them is literally just to make a big fuck off cloud and put all of my industrial farm on top of it. So from the ground, you can't see the farms, you just see this big cloud. That's one thing I might do. Where's this mounting? Not for connecting. I need to get my head in here. Connecting these bits here. And then same on this side. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. I'm thinking that could be pretty cool, having a big sky factory. Like, basically, a sky factory. I'll oh, ping in Discord real quick. Hey, Owen. Uh, Ian being welcoming. I got distracted once again. I think I quite like a sky island. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Increase world height, make the most of it. Make something big. Okay. Need two of these. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Just had a thought. Give me one second, chat. One second. I'm in the mood. You guys got me in the mood for it. You fancy bridges, but I'd really love some non-deadly cannons and launch across. <laughs> That'd be funny. And TNT cannons to get between mountains. I'd be down for that.
honestly, the soundtrack to this game is incredible. Iconic, even. So relaxing. All right, next up is the doors. I'm loving the way this is looking now. Looking so, so cool. So we got two doors ready to go in. God, I got like three stickers to go on this one panel. This is gonna get ugly. Stay with me, chat. Only three on the top. Oh no, it's the inside, okay. We need scaffolding. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of scaffolding to do that, lad. We need a lot of scaffolding. Definitely need a lightcher as well. You know, if you fall off that, you're dead. So, a lightcher. You know how Connie and Pizza does perk jingles? I might do perk jingles, but instead of being perk jingles, it's Minecraft songs. I'm going to have to guess the name of the Minecraft song. Yeah, it'll be after, the dra after we kill the dragon. The thing is, when we um, do reset the world, we'll make a big deal about the dragon death, like we did in... Um, In, in Legacy, we made like a big event of it. Like when we started the world, we said no one goes to the end for the first six weeks. We'll all get prepared and then all go together. And that was super fun. I really like that we did that. We'll do that again for, for, the, for season three. We'll make a big event of being in the end. It didn't wait too long, it was actually about six weeks. There's some people who wanted to be there 
had enough gear to survive it, basically. Just for a bit of community, you know? You didn't want one person rushing in there, killing the dragon, and then getting a bit in their light show without us knowing. I find the force and set was secure. <laughs> that would be a good idea, Brad, other than the fact that there's about 20 of them. There's not just one fortress per world. You have to go through literally each and every one of them and do it. Um, Joey, remind me, what sort of line of work are you in? What do you do for work again? Because I have an image in my head of you doing this certain thing, and I can't remember if it's correct or not. The eyes attract the closest one. Yes, they, that is true, Brad. But the way the fortresses work is they're basically in a circle around spawn. So if someone's up north, they'll go to one. Someone's at south, they'll go to a different one. It's a good idea. But um, there's more to it than that. I'll just follow, you'll follow me. I mean, for the sake of content, you're more than... We'll, we'll have, like, a main one, is what we usually do. See, I knew... I thought so. Bradley and Joey are in the same sort of line of work. Because Bradley, Bradley does man security as well. So you have more in common than you think. Bradley's not a mechanic, though. Bradley, Bradley is a security guard. There's various sort of security things. That are very fancy and I don't actually understand very much of. Um, but yeah, to be fair, what we did do is um, we had like a main one which we designated to be our portal, basically. That's the one that had a proper nether link. Um, other people could use the other one, obviously, other ones, obviously, if they were closer to them. But we had like a main one, so we could do that. But like again, for content purposes. We're getting to the stage of this build now, of this of this pack of pack three. Where I know where everything is, and there's, an, there's like the quantities are low enough that you can see the things you're looking for. I'm not spending ages like wrestling around trying to find things. For the most part, anyway. It'll obviously be the odd occasion where I don't know where everything is. I know one thing I need to learn. What is that, Joey? What is that? Netherite mining. Yeah, I've not done any netherite mining at all. 
I've either bought mine or Bradley's got some. Because Bradley was our like designated netherite miner effectively. So that's all Bradley's area of expertise. And lightning card. If you need advice regarding netherite mining, ask Bradley or LC. Not me. I am not the person to talk to about it. Redstone, by all means. Not netherite. Drink real quick. Still in the water today. My body is thanking me for it. Need some of that good armor. Yeah, I'm still wearing. I've got my god armor. I've got armor from 1.14.2, which um, has all the enchantments on it. It's got protection, blast protection, fire protection, and projectile, prote and projectile protection. They all stack, and you can't craft that anymore. That's quite a cool thing I've got. And it's netherite, so it's, it's incredibly OP. Why aren't you just making a door mechanism at this point? You have a diamond pick and saw an everyone brand. Oh, nice. Very generous of him. Well, the fact that this door mechanism I'm making has zero functionality whatsoever, but it looks like a door mechanism. How cool is this looking? Just for the sake of looking like a door, like door handle, window wiper, a uh, window adjuster. Obviously, the door hinge is gonna have a function. 
and I'm making the door frame. Have I done a good job? Have I done a good job? Hey, Xanox. Just subscribe on YouTube. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, is that, has that just come through now? Is that... I feel like that would have happened a while ago, Xanox. Did that... Did you do that at the start of the stream? Or did you, did you just do that now? I'm very confused. Trying to learn the speedrun? Why? Why are you trying to learn the speedrun for Minecraft? Can you not just take the game for what it is and relax a bit, man? I know you're a speedrunner by nature, but chill out. I've never actually tried to speedrun Minecraft. That's so weird why it took so long. Alex was here right at the start of the stream. But why has it only come through now? Well, by the way, Zanox, thank you very much for hitting the subscribe. It looks cool. I mean, it is probably quite a fun thing to do. I've never, I've never thought about it myself. There we go. Door. I mean, there a door mirror. I know one game I need to speedrun, what is that? What game do you need to speedrun, Joey? Okay, the rest of the door hinge needs to go in. Sixty-four. That's just the in thing right now, isn't there? A lot of people are doing them. I've never played it, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't have the first clue what to do. All right, door's ready to go on. Okay, so it looks like that bit's going on to there. Sorry, I need to keep my head in out of the way of the camera. Let's do it like this. What the hell is this connecting to? Oh, I did it wrong this way. 
Doesn't go there at all. This is gonna be finicky. Gotta go onto there. And that's gotta get onto there. Jesus. Like that. And then these I've got to there. Gotta go up. There's no good way of showing this. Go in. It's the point where I think this wasn't designed for 24 year old hands. My hands are just too big. But my hands are big anyway, but there we go. We have a door. An actual door. That's pretty dope. Functional door. Now, let's do exactly the same thing on this side. I still understand this whole um, obsession with the Mario 64 speedruns right now. Like, where's this come from? Why is it the in thing right now? stickers now. Been a massive thing, but I think Noah J gave it up his oh, okay. Did I change the gold mine? Did I change the gold mine? No? What do you mean? I don't have a gold mine, I have a gold farm. And now I haven't changed it. What do you mean? What's going on? Someone broken it again? Someone breaking my stuff. I think you're at the how do you, how can you get the wrong one? How do you get lost in the roof of the nether, Joey? But if you just go up, I'm at an AFK gold mine. I don't know what you mean, Joey. Are you at my perimeter or not? If you're at the right one, you'll see a circle of buttons around you. That's mine.
You see a circle of buttons around you on the floor? If so, you're in the right place. I don't know how you can get yourself lost. don't think so. How did you get there? Like, getting to my gold farm is really easy if you just go f if you go to my nether portal. There's a ladder that takes you up to it. Like, how are you getting up there if not through my portal? <laughs> Anyone online who can rescue you? That's why I'm at the spider. Is a spider farm? I haven't got a spider farm. Where are where are you, Joey? What are you doing? I'm so confused for you right now. That's by spider farm. You mean the spider spawner that's near my uh, life star? The only place I can think where you might be, but you know that's not even in the Nether. Ladders near spawn. No, so Joe, you don't need to go. <laughs> so if you go back to my nether area, go to where my nether portal is. In the room where my nether portal is, there's a stair, there's a ladder by there, which also takes you to the roof of the nether, and it's next to my gold farm. You don't need to go all the way to spawn and then come all the way back. Or if you have an elytra now, then if you fly to the center of my sphere, there's also a nether portal there which takes you directly to the roof of the nether. You haven't even got to use a staircase. That'll save you some time.
We are getting towards the end of this pack now. Very quickly. I need this farming so I can enchant my elytra. Um, yes, yeah, so you can't actually do level 30 enchantments on an elytra. You need to use the books, basically. You need to get yourself some books and do it that way. I'm assuming you know that, and you just you need the levels to put it on. Right. You need a mending book and you need an unbreaking three book. All you need. Made a big mistake somewhere. We're not far off getting this done now. We're really not that far off. I'm quite glad actually, so I'm starting to cramp up. I need to move a little bit. It feels like it's been longer than three hours and 22 minutes, but apparently it hasn't. <sighs> but we're getting there.
Shipping Edge is great. Shipping Edge is a great enchantment. It's one of the things that Java has that Bedrock doesn't. And it's one of the main reasons why I don't like Bedrock Edition. Because it's such an important enchantment to have. That not having it just doesn't make sense. They're getting real close now. Um, seems to be a lot better now as well. Better than what you mean? Better than when? I haven't changed anything recently. Oh, do you mean now that you've got sweeping edge is better? Yeah. Yeah, that's how sweeping edge works. Oh, Jesus. In that. Almost across my room. Yeah, Sweeping Edge makes that farm a lot better. Oh, occasionally you will get random bits in your inventory. That's just how the Minecraft mechanic works. That's not something you can control. That too, yeah. It makes it having sweeping edge makes it a lot quicker because you're killing the things a lot more quickly. How much do books normally go for? Entire depends on the book. Um, most of them are around three or four diamonds. Um, if you're thinking about starting a bookstore, by the way, um, the answer is you can't. You've already got two bookstores, and we're not having multiples. So that's pretty much at capacity when it comes to bookstores. <laughs> We don't want everyone just undercutting everyone all the time, do you understand me? Yeah, they normally go for about three or four diamonds, it depends on the product. Dimensional Gamer, welcome to the stream, my guy. Good to see you. That is definitely the wrong orientation, yes it is. Those things go over there. Yeah, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you.
you wanted to buy, not sell. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you want to buy, by all means, yeah, they're like depending on it depends on what it is. Yeah, it's normally um like three or four diamonds. Trying to get Streamlabs working when my laptop is trash. Yeah, you need a good CPU to get Streamlabs working. That's that is one catch. To to stream on your to stream on PC, you need a good CPU, and generally a good GPU as well. All right, that's the end of the pack, guys. What I need to do is put the door on. These are all the spares. I've accumulated. All I need to do is get the door on. So, it was fiddly last time. Even more fiddly this time because it's on the other side. I can't even show you really well where it's going. Wish you had a PC with T4 you can't get one. Yeah, it's, it's, it's becoming an issue very quickly. I'm quite lucky I got mine last uh, June-ish, so it's relatively new still. There we go. Oh, that is box number three. It's big. It is a big thing, isn't it? That is box number three. All finished. Next up is box number four, which will finish it off. Your laptop can't handle Twitch properly. It's getting to the point where I either have to either stop or just not read chat. Can you use your phone to read chat? Can't you put it on? Could you put it on your phone separately? Got bare soul speed. Yeah, I got loads of soul speed. It all comes from the bartering farm. That's what it'll look like at the end of the next stream, guys. Cannot wait. Have it. Ah, oh, so that is going to do it for the time being, guys. Hopefully, I have this finished. By the weekend. That is the plan anyway. So fingers crossed. But until then, guys, I'm not busy. I, I'm not free tomorrow. I think I'm playing Warzone with John on Thursday. So I might stream that. Eventually. And then Friday... I had something going on Friday and I can't remember what it was going to be. Who knows? We'll work it out for the time being, though. Joey, thank you for sticking around. Dimensional, thank you for showing up. I'll um, see you guys soon.
come out. Listen to me. I've tried so many times to tell you this is as good as I can be. Why isn't it enough to be faithful and also be the hit of the party? Let's just break it down to you and me uptown. And all around till the disco ball pops But I have to be me And everyone can see Your anger is misplaced And I'm gonna tell you Don't hate me cause I get attention Don't turn me into 